Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do theories of motivation. Very important topic for the MP Apex Bank exam going to be held within like within like uh, next two or three months, right? So let's start the session. Uh, my name is Ramandeep Singh and I am teaching on bank exams today from last I guess 12, 13 years. So if you want details regarding the MP Apex Bank Manager course uh, for 2024, you can uh, go to bankexamstudy.com. Links are available in the description or this is our WhatsApp number where you can uh, you know, get all the details regarding the course. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series, right? So sare course hum kar rahe for the CA, for the admin, for the HR, wo sare courses hum kar rahe right? So let's start the session with the Maslow's theory of uh, Maslow's hierarchy needs of theory. As the name suggests, the hierarchy of needs. So in 1943, a psychologist named uh, Abraham Harold Maslow, first of all, please remember this name. This is one of the most common question in the exam, uh, you know, who started uh, or who uh, suggested this theory, the, the human, uh, the theory of human motivation or hierarchy of needs theory. So this is the first name or hierarchy of needs theory. This is the common name. Okay. You should know the name Abraham Harold Maslow. So this theory is one popular and extensively uh, cited theory of the motivation, most popular theory of motivation. So according to this theory, the needs, the human needs can be divided. They are uh, having hierarchy, jo humans ki needs hain, unko hierarchy mein aap divide kar sakte ho. There are certain assumptions. First of all, man is a wanting being, right? Har insaan ki demands hoti hain, right? Uh, needs have a definite hierarchy of importance. Sabse pehle, uh, you need food, you need safety, right? Then maybe you need uh, friendship, then maybe you need uh, social status. Uske baad aapko guitar seekhna hai, paado vijana hai, that's the last thing, right? So, hierarchy hai. The first thing anybody needs is food. Sabse pehle, aapko survival karna hai, right? So uh, certain needs are most important. Uh, once the certain needs are satisfied, once you got the food, now you need family, you need friends, right? So there is a proper hierarchy of needs, right? A satisfied need does not act as a motivator. Somebody who who's having access to food forever or somebody uh, who's having a family, right? So a satisfied need is not a motivator. Jo cheez aapke paas hai, aapko uski value nahi rehti, right? So that's a simple, uh, if in simple terms, if I can explain, satisfied needs does not act as a motivator. As one need is satisfied, another one replaces it. Once you got the food, you need family. Once you got the family, you need respect from the family. You need respect from the society. Once you got money, family, respect, now you want to learn guitar, you want to do farming. Maybe you always wanted to be a singer. Now you started singing. So once one need is satisfied, another one replaces it. So the most basic need is a physiological need. You need food, water, warmth, rest. That's the most basic need. That's the most basic need for the survival. Just to survive, uh, this physiological needs should be satisfied, right? Once these basic needs are satisfied, uh, you need safety. Safety and security of yourself, right? Ek bar aapko khana wani mil gaya sab kuch, shelter mil gaya, now you need safety. Once uh, safety needs are satisfied, uh, there is need for belongingness and love, right? You need family, you need friends. Ek bar aapko food mil gaya, safety mil gi. Now you need uh, family, friends, relationships, right? You need that. Once the belongingness and love needs are satisfied, there are esteem needs. You need respect from your family. You need respect from the society. You want people to respect you. Feel of accomplishments, right? 
once you got the respect now self actualization needs achieving one's full potential including creative activities aapne paise kama liye you got uh, you know you have relations you are having family and friend people respect you now uh, you always wanted to be a singer you started singing you always wanted to start a bakery you always wanted to start a restaurant or you wanted to run a marathon so now you are doing that that is what self actualization need right so uh, the basic needs the safety needs and psychological needs they are for the they are basic needs and esteem needs and the need for having belongingness they are psychological needs and the self actualization is a self fulfillment needs right what is a criticism see uh you might have seen people who uh, who do not have many friends or who do not have uh food but they want to be become a singer or an actor to kuch ek log ye sari you know jo hai steps ko go through kiye bina directly self actualization pe jate hain they want to be a singer actor marathon runners they want to be a sportsman maybe they don't have friends maybe they don't uh, got the recognition they don't uh, people they don't respect them but still wo us level pe pahunch gaye right and it is difficult to categorize the needs so these are certain criticism for the maslow's theory we call them maslow's theory or maslow's hierarchy of needs theory right not very important from examination point of view but you should know that okay uh then the two factor theory is also important also very popular first of all you should remember the frederick hersberg uh he suggested the two factor theory frederick hersberg the two factor theory it's also known as dual factor theory right the first name is two factor theory second name is two, uh, dual factor theory and it is also known as hygiene hygiene maintenance theory of motivation right these are the three names common names from examination point of view it's very important so this theory is based on the information collected by him and his associates by interviewing 200 engineers and accountants right so frederick hersberg he interviewed 200 plus uh, accountants right uh, and engineers in usa and he came up with this particular theory right so the information uh, collected uh, relates to the attitude of the people towards work attitude of the people towards work uh, this attitude towards work depends upon two sets of factors jo logon ka attitude hai apne kaam ko lekar it is dependent upon uh, two two sets of factors do sets and factors ke uh, the first one are the hygiene factor the second one are the maintenance factors right so what are the hygiene factors hygiene factors are also known as dissatisfier right so the absence of uh, hygiene factors it causes dissatisfaction agar ye wale factors uh, nahi available their absence cause dissatisfaction inke hone se koi fark nahi hai na hone se dissatisfaction hota hai right so if people are not getting salary on time if there is no job security so companies policies or ad, uh, administration is not friendly if supervision is like so strict right working conditions uh, is not good i mean people are working i mean in 40 degrees without air conditioner so it would dissatisfy them right presence of an air conditioner at the working place may not be a setting a satisfying factor unko satisfy nahi karega kuch additional uh, kisi ko satisfaction nahi milegi but absence of work, good working condition would dissatisfy them interpersonal relations with the supervisors and other subordinates jhagda ho raha hai workplace pe people they don't like each other so obviously people they won't like to go to workplace kisi ke sath relations acche nahi hai supervisors ya colleague ke sath to unko kaam pe jana hi acha nahi lagega right the status uh, how people perceive your job aapki job ko kis tarah le rahe hain the personal life employee benefits right so all these factors their absence it cause dissatisfaction 
but there are certain factors which cause satisfaction it causes satisfiers and they are motivating factors they are satisfiers and motivating factors so uh, what are these factors recognition for the accomplishments people are getting trophies and people are getting increased responsibilities people are allowed to do creative work and there is a opportunity for growth so all that motivate them and they are called satisfiers right now there is a theory x and theory y very popular uh doggles meg dredger he suggested this theory the theory of uh, x and theory y the theory of motivation called theory x and theory y so he presented this theory in his article namely the human side of enterprise the human side of enterprise so he treat, uh, he treated traditional uh, approach to the management as theory x and professional approach to the management as theory y you will understand in the next uh, slides that we are going to do so what is theory x and his whole theory is divided into two parts theory x and theory y so according to theory x it's a traditional approach to the management so according to theory x the employees are lazy the employees are lazy they need strict supervision right uh, employees uh, or the workers they avoid taking responsibilities they are not responsible they are lazy they are self centered uh, they are indifferent to organizational needs they have little ambition they dislike responsibilities they are not intelligent they lack creativity or they resist to any change they don't like changes so that is theory x this is a classical or the traditional approach to the management whereas there is theory y which is a modern or progressive or professional approach uh, to managing people according to them an average man is not really against doing work right uh, he can be self directed but uh, he can be creative at work if they are motivated properly self control on part of people is useful for achieving organizational goals right uh, people are creative people are not by nature passive or resistant to organizational goals if they are motivated enough uh, they have become so as a result of experience in organizations right so an average human being learns under proper conditions and they are willing to take responsibilities so they are not lazy they are creative people uh, they want to take responsibilities they need growth so that is theory why it is more professional and i would say uh progressive approach to managing people or to the management so yeah so manifest need a uh, theory of motivation so david c mcclellan he suggested this theory please remember all the authors it's very important so during his tenure at harvard university he proposed this particular theory he proposed his achievement motivation theory this theory is also known as achievement motivation theory so mcclellan uh, classified such needs into three broad categories so people they there is a need of power need for affiliation and need for achievement so what is need of power need for power so this need is indicated by people they want to control other people's action right so people they want to control others they want to influence behavior of others so that is need for power right a person with desire for power likes to compete with others when situation is favorable but all in all you need to understand uh desire to control or influence behavior of others that is need for power need for affiliation uh the person has need desire for affection and want to establish friendly friendly relationship in the organization they want to make a club they want to make a group they need friendly relationships so that is need for affiliation and what is need for achievement these people are competitive they want to 
प्रूव दैट दे आर बेटर देन दे आर कलीग्स दे वॉन्ट टू प्रूव दे आर सुपीरियरिटी ओवर अदर्स सो दैट इज नीड फॉर अचीवमेंट एंड दीज पीपल दे वर्क हार्ड टू प्रूव दे आर डोमिनेंस टू प्रूव दे आर सुपीरियरिटी ओवर अदर्स सो दैट इज नीड फॉर अचीवमेंट so let's do some questions who has given the hierarchy of needs theory of motivation abraham maslow very important question you can see these kind of questions in your exam we have already done that how many levels uh, are there in the needs hierarchy theory of motivation there are uh, five levels it's in the books right name the motivation theory that is based on satisfaction progression that is maslow's hierarchy needs theory why i am doing so many questions on the maslow theory because these questions have been repeated in the past in the similar exams so that is why we are doing it the two factor theory is based upon which two factors the hygiene and behavioral very common question ye sare questions bahut important hai you can take the screenshot if you want to so hygiene factors uh, they are job dissatisfiers and motivating factors are job satisfiers right so we have already done that according to hersberg which of the following may be regarded as hygiene or the maintenance factors uh, none of these so you can uh, see this hygiene factors are working conditions co workers relation policies or the rules of the organization uh, supervisor quality base wage salary and the status these are hygiene factors so motivating factors of achievement recognition personal growth advancement these are the ones right so none of these these all are uh, motivating factors okay company policy administration supervision interpersonal relations working conditions and salary what these are these are hygiene factors theory x suggest that people or the employees they do not like work they are lazy people so theory x theory y i guess that's all for today i hope you like the today's session uh, if you like it you can join the mp apex bank manager 2024 course in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series and the live sessions link to join the course is available in the description please check the description for all the links if there is any doubt this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are here to answer your doubts a uh, list of uh, all our successful students who took our courses in the past all these students they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them uh that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye